1073 KFFM Middays with Sarah J. We've got an exciting show coming up. So I've got people from the April Fool's hello. Friday extravaganza. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Now, this is their helium voices. They stole my balloons. Happy hello, birthday. I'm Reiko. <laughs> I'm Reiko Stanislav, and I'm not from the Czech Republic. <laughs> but you are a funny guy. <laughs> hey, uh, Chris, why don't you tell us what we're doing uh, Friday? Thank you, Dan. Oh, too serious. <laughs> I am so excited. We have a, a show oh, coming yeah. up on Friday that is just one like I think Yakima's never seen. Oh. We're putting together a group of people to perform a vaudeville burlesque show that is just going to be off the charts. Oh um, my gosh, I didn't know there was burlesque involved in this as well. Okay, so the April Fool's Friday extravaganza, and you were already saying one section's completely sold out. Yes, all the VIP sections are sold right now, but there are still general admission tickets, okay. um, but this week I'm assuming they're going to go pretty quick. Doors open at 6.30, show starts at 7.30. We're going for about two, two and a half hours, and you're just going to see things you haven't seen before. We have magic. We have drag comedy, which drag is a comedy. Uh, surprise. Drag comedy. We're trying to stylize this after shows of the old way, you know, back oh. in the 1920s when they had circus, okay. roaming circus tents and variety shows of all sorts just Swords coming to town. and flames and all kinds of things. I think the biggest thing is Rako's throwing me off with a helium. Right? He couldn't help himself. Just a variety of all kinds of things. <laughs> okay, so you just don't know what to expect, <laughs> but if you're looking for some fun. <laughs> so this is going to be big, and I see you have Captain Squirrel here as well. Yeah, Captain Squirrel, I'm here. But oh. I will not be doing burlesque. I will just be oh, doing magic. It. However, I will be wearing a thong underneath uh, my pirate outfit in honor of the burlesque. Okay. Because way like back that. when I was an old thong and dance man. <laughs> but I'll just what be doing some I'll just be doing some magic, eh? <laughs> The only thing we're not going to have is any fire spinners, which oh, maybe we'll it. think about for next time. Okay, so if we've got uh, sword swallowers out there, or fire spinners, or I don't know, if there's a lizard man. <laughs> if, if enough people show up this Friday, you know, April 1st is Friday at Seasons, and we'll be able to do it next time and incorporate all of that. Very cool. So we want this thing to sell out, and you were saying VIP is already sold out. Yeah. Oh, there's going to be a lot of energy, and that's why we want people there. We have Bowler and Spoons coming over. They're a vaudeville group. We've been kind of connecting with them recently and they're just amazing to watch. We have Dave Edel actually performing as well. Oh um, my. Some magic for us and so we're excited about that. Is this a 21 and over event? Maybe 18, more for right? mature audiences but Right, because the burlesque part. I would no, say it's probably Dave more Edel. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly Dave. <laughs> Mostly Dave. <laughs> no, but this is more of probably a PG-13. It's, it's okay. naughty but not dirty. That's fair. If you cannot find a babysitter for your 7 year old, no, don't do <laughs> we, it. We okay. would like to extend the invite to any jugglers out there though in the community. Uh, if you're not doing anything on Friday, April 1st, come on down. We'd love to have you in the front foyer or just out on the street juggling for us. Oh, I love yeah, that. Any, any greasy strangler of any sort, come on down. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I don't know. opportunity for jugglers. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so if you've got a talent and you want to show it off, we're looking for all kinds of stuff. Do they need to get a hold of you beforehand? Because who knows? You could have like 100 people come down and just want to show off their... That would be perfect. That would you're be okay. great. <laughs> the more it's it's going to be a show. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a show. For yes. sure. Hey, people can find more information over where? You can go to theseasonsyakima.com, mm -hmm. and they have the ticket link right on there. Anything that we're missing. I even love the little you know, flyer that you have. Too. I know. It's on a nice school. card. It's like a nice card stock it when is. you handed it to me. I was like, that feels, that feels good. It's not regular paper. I'm trying to think there's yeah. something. Oh, to remind everybody to bring their suspenders and bowler hats. Oh, please do. Dress in the part. So if you don't know what that looks like, 1920s, eyeliner. Pants. Tell me, Chris. Ooh, tell he knows, me. He knows. So the show's broken up into kind of three parts. It's kind of like a variety show. The Cockphonics are going to be playing music while other things are going on, too. And so it's going to be fast-paced. Oh. It's going to be high energy. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And this is no joke, even though it's on April Fool's. No joke. This is going to be no joke. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, let's keep this going. So definitely spread the word. We'll put more information over at KFFM.com, theseasonsyakima.com. VIP is already sold out, 18 and older, because there's going to be some fancy business that mm. maybe underage should not see yet. And just to let you know, there's no joke with an asterisk. But um bump Just wait. <laughs> just wait. This Friday is going down for real. Thank you for bringing this Thank to Yakima. You so much. Fingers Thank you, crossed. Thank you for supporting local events. For sure. Break both legs. I eh? heard Eddie Vedder's going to show up. No way. <laughs> Rumors.